welcome to yet another lesson. In this lesson, we are going to add the volume functionality. When you click on this, you are going to change the volume. Okay? So, we go back to the code from where we left from last time. So, just like we did the progress bar, we are now going to target the volume bar. Okay? We had an event listener there. The event of mouse down function anonymous function use capture to be false this function is going to take an argument event and we're going to do ex almost the same thing as we did with the progress bar okay so first we're going to determine the position of a clicked Bar. Now, if you don't get this, go back to the other lesson. I explained this in detail. Okay, so when we get that position, we are going to use it to determine the volume. So, we are going to change the volume. We are going to set the audio volume equals to the same calculation which we did here, which will give us a fraction between 0 and 1 okay now for the bar to look to have the same value as the volume we're not going to say now we're going to change the style of this bar that is embedded within this one we're going not to change its style This fraction, when you multiply it by 100, it will give us a percentage. Now remember to add these parentheses. You add, then you concatenate at the end a percent sign so that that can be a valid CSS value. So let's go back to the browser and check. So let's play. <laughs> That's it. You see it's working. So see you in the next lesson.